It's Thursday. Barry, come back. Barry loves the snow. I've never seen, look at him go. <laughs> and I'm worried about his little feet. Um, the power came back. The electricity is back on as of a few hours ago. And I will tell you, it couldn't have come at a better time. I am over this. <laughs> you know, mister, I want to move somewhere where they have real winters. <laughs> well, it's true, I do. The problem is Texas simply was not ready for this. We're not a state. The homes aren't built for it. Our infrastructure, very, I worry about him getting frostbite, so I'm not gonna leave him out here very long. Barry, I'm just going to the mailbox and see if they've run. I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> um, this has been exhausting. Uh, keeping warmth on the house, trying to uh, taking care of the animals. The goats do not like the snow. Barry, where are you going? Come on, Barry. Come on. Good boy. He's a snow rocket. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I am so glad to see you all. I have electricity. That's right. <laughs> you saw the film I did earlier out in the snow with Barry, and yes, it was cold out there, but we're so happy to have our power back. That was how we chose to celebrate, was to go outside, dance in the snow, knowing we could come back into warmth. <laughs> Hoping it would stay on, that is. It was a awful time. I'm not going to lie to you. And though I have talked in videos, you know, about weather many times, I can tell you that this was unlike any other event we've had here. And as such, uh, there was a big lesson to be learned. We don't anticipate this kind of weather here. And so you have to prepare. Uh, you should, you know, if you can afford it, obviously a generator would have been helpful. Um, I do have a lot of candles, so the light was not as big of an issue. Heating was. Uh, I have a fireplace that's in my den, and it does warm that room all right, but it's, an un, it's a, a, not a closed off room. It has a very large opening. And so it can be very difficult to regulate the heat there. And when the weather was below zero, it was impossible to keep it above. I mean, it was just barely tolerable. I think it was 40, it was about as warm as I could get at 42. So I was wrapped up in blankets and gloves and all sorts of things. It was so nice to take off the gloves. And But in, in thinking about all of this and preparing, there are other ways we have to prepare, and one of those is in taking care of our skin. We need to prepare for difficulties that come down the line, such as dryness or chapping, which is so common in this kind of weather. Um, because water, there was no hot water, unless you heated your own water. I was washed my hands a lot in cold water, and I will tell you, that's really hard on the hands. I didn't realize how much, very drying. Look at my cuticles, and I'm someone who takes care of my cuticles. But they're dry, They, I didn't take care of myself the way I should because I couldn't bathe the way I wanted to, and putting lotions and balms over that just didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> anyway, I'm going on and on. But anyway, taking care of your skin is vitally important. And so again, I'm putting together my balm sticks, which I haven't done. They're not balm sticks, actually. They are butter bars in a stick. Um, I don't call them lotion bars because there's no water in them. Lotion is water and oil that has been emulsified generally with a wax, sometimes stearic acid, uh, and that's what a lotion is. It is a water-based formula. It's mostly water or milk, depending on what you're making with it, like my goat milk lotion. 
body butters are just that. They're butter. They're the oils only. And so I call this a butter stick because that's what it's made of are just the butters. And I'm using the my uh, craft cardboard push-ups for this. They work really well. They don't add any plastic back into the environment. And they add beautiful, beautiful butters to your skin. And I'm going to talk to you about each of these, describe them, and tell you why you want these in your uh, push-up butter stick. So come along with me today and let's talk about these wonderful butters. First on our list here we have cocoa butter. Cocoa butter comes from cocoa beans. That's right, that's where chocolate comes from. It's the very same thing. If you take this and mix it with just one or two other ingredients, you have white chocolate. Mmm, that smells delicious. And you could eat this just as it is, and I'm not gonna lie and say I haven't. <laughs> I have shown you the cacao beans in some of my other videos. We will maybe one time break that down again for you just to show you the process of how you get cocoa butter. Here we have, oh, by the way, uh, one of the things I wanted to say is that cocoa butter is also a great emollient. It's able to melt at body temperature, which allows it to sink nice, uh, you know, below the skin surface. And it's gentle enough to soothe even those that have skin conditions like eczema. It is a fantastic product. Uh, Cocum butter, which is the hardest of these three, which is, take, makes it a little more challenging to melt, a little bit higher temperature, but still you have to be careful when melting any of these. Uh, you want to be very careful not to heat them too quickly and to cool them quickly, but we'll talk more about that as we go along here. Uh, cocum butter is derived from the fruit kernels of the cocum tree. Uh, it is actually from uh, the western region in India. A wonderful, wonderful plant. It, uh, uh, butter, it's not greasy. It's very lightweight. Uh, it's rich in vitamins and nutrients. And it's very high in essential fatty acids. And they, th those fatty acids include things like omega-3 and omega-6, which help your body sustain healthy skin cell membranes to prevent damage. And because of its emollient properties, it's easily absorbed by the skin. So its healing properties can penetrate deep into the layers of your dermis. And this will help to heal things like ulcers or cracks in the lips, hands, and soles of the feet. Finally, we have the old tried and true shea butter. One of my favorites. Uh, shea butter comes from the nuts of the shea tree, native to Central Africa. It contains vitamins A and E and is beneficial in treating irritated skin. Uh, it aids in your natural collagen production and contains oleic, steric, and palmitic acids. Uh, and it helps protect and nourish your skin as well. All of these together are so moisturizing and healing and they feel delicious on the skin. And if you've ever had chapped lips, you know how lip balm feels, how relieving that is? That is the way this feels if your skin is chapped and dry, like your elbows, your knees, the tip of your nose if you've been out in the cold, absolutely can benefit from something like this. So the first thing we want to do is melt this, and we're going to melt it slowly on a double boiler. So let me get this uh, ready so for us to move on to the next step. All right, so I've got my water double boiler on and I'm going to add in my shea butter uh, cocoa butter shea butter and my cocoa butter and we're going to start by just getting this melted down
our melted butters, I'm going to add in golden jojoba, argan oil, and vitamin E. The argan oil is going to add lovely antibacterial and anti-inflammatory benefits. The golden jojoba, because it is a natural wax, that's right, it's not an oil, it will also help to seal in the benefits of these lovely oils into the skin, along with its benefits. The vitamin E, of course, has so many beautiful benefits to the skin, but in addition, helps to avoid rancidity in our pure oil and butter mixture. Alright, so once I've got these poured, I want to show you, I've taken my gloves off now because I'm not going to be touching any more product. Just the, whoop. I just wanted to show you that I've only filled these up to about three quarters of the way. And the reason for that is I want these to do their tunneling. Anytime you pour anything with hot oils or waxes, um, a lot of things that have to cool inside the container, they stick to the outside of the container and then tend to tunnel in the center as they cool and contract, leaving a tunnel down the middle. And one way to keep them looking nice is to First of all, I'm going to cool these very quickly. I'm going to take them outside, actually. I'm going to put a cover over these and set them outside because it's a lot colder outside. It's 14, so it's a lot cooler outside than it is in my refrigerator. Uh, and it will freeze them rather quickly. So it'll help reduce the tunneling a little bit, but then we'll come back with what's left here and I will top them off. All right? So let me go ahead and get these chilled. All right. So these have cooled now and now I can just top them off. Hi, I am not an actor, but a real person like yourself. And I'm not here to sell you a product, but to give you some good consumer advice. I too, like so many of you, stick my hands into freezing cold snow. Oh, that's so cold. My hands feel terrible. What am I gonna do? Why, well, I pick me up some Soapy Oak Snowfall Body Butter Balm. Woohoo! Let's see what that'll do. Why, that ain't greasy at all. It feels just wonderful. Why, it smells so natural. My hands are not chapped and they feel just great. So pick yourself up some right away.